Hell yeah. Louis Auto. You feel me? This is a mean. Yeah, that's a vintage Louis. I had to get it custom because I'm a big nigga. This whole part is an add on. But you would never tell. It's an old ass like Italian dude that does our leather and shit. So he added all this on because this was from like here to here type shit. Like, you thrifted this on? Nah, I bought this and uh, had him do the add on and shit. Cause you know, like, if you really know where the thrift and shit, you can find. Yeah, you gotta go to like the suburbs, real for real. Yeah, yeah, like, like far out. Yeah. It's they like, how do you give a shit away like that? Who cares? Just get this dude. Cause, bro, it's all about what people put value on. You feel me? We look at it like that's a Louis Vuitton. This nigga might have. 50 in his attic, just chilling. Oh, you know what I'm saying? That's just a bag to him. Oh, that's a fact, though. It's all about what niggas put value on, but. That's a fact. Look at all that. That's leather motherfucker. Yeah, that shit crazy. It's leather motherfucker. That shit buttery, too. Bro. That shit probably 30 years old. Like. Bro. Oh, I, I got some of this in the crib. 430 got some of this in the crib, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's just a hard to find, like, this stuff in, like, a good position. That's the 2 4, but. Yeah, go and talk about the uh, that tea you pulled off real quick. See, this tea is dope because, like, in vintage, like, anywhere else, like, bootleg shit is lame. Yeah. And it's fraudulent and just corny for everything. Mm -hmm. But, like, vintage, there's a thing called bootleg tea. Like, they would just do vintage, like, someone, like, selling parking lot shirts or, like, you might walk into, like, a bodega and, bro, like, got all these shirts stacked. Like, that type of bootleg, like, but it was during the Lakers playing the Spurs in the Western Conference Finals. They got them fighting Tim Duncan, Kobe, Kobe and Shaq just knocking niggas out for real. Yeah. Mike Bibby and them over here. I can see all the like sheets over here. Oh yeah, there we go. We just talk about the sheets, man. Yeah. Listen, man. <laughs> we ain't hooping in the sheets. I'ma keep it a hundred. Them things is a little rough nowadays. The material's not made the same. But yeah. I personally, I'm gonna throw me some shoes on. You feel me? I'm a big homie. I need that extra material on some my forces. Some leather forces. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't do no strain, no shoes out there you could throw on? No, I'll throw some shoes on. Okay. I wouldn't hoop it on shoes. Oh, no, not for sure. No, That's no. crazy. Yeah, this tee's stupid as well. Like, the good, uh, that NASCAR. Like, I, and the one thing I like about how they was doing it back then is like printing all over the shirt. You yeah. ain't gonna find no screen print that's gonna be able to give you that uh that type of screen yeah you feel me but like a lot of like i know like from like just making clothes like a lot of the places won't even print all over print tea yeah unless you're going straight to the manufacturer exactly it's like a cut and sew where like they put yeah. the whole thing out you gotta like build the shirt back like exactly oh shit there's all the angle loud man tommy stop playing with us tommy <laughs> stop playing with us tommy god damn and that's the one like a bootleg piece I was talking about. God that's a Tommy, Tommy Sports bootleg. Bro, bootleg was hitting. Yeah. So back then it was like, it was kind of lit to wear fake shit. Yeah. That's 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 and if you look, check the material on it, like. Cause you gotta think of it also, bro. Like, look at that, look at that zipper. The Dapper Dan time, bro, you feel me? Like, come on, bro. Come on. Everyone was rocking bootleg like, Gucci fits and all that type of crazy. This is like four X or something. Cause I like to wear shit extra oversized. Yeah. Like, what what okay let's talk about this what number you feel like is slept on but it's fucking deep i like tens these sippy self and tens is nice see the tens are my favorite silhouette mm, okay i ain't never heard anybody say that i'm honestly saying that. Okay. my favorite jordan is a steel 10. the og that's like my favorite so you got a pair i have a pair but they beat it out they beat down because it's from like when they dropped was that? It was in the twain. I forget, but yeah, I'm not too sure. Either. Yeah, but they got paint on it. Like I was wearing them, like just doing anything with them on. But I definitely need to get a new pair for real. And I mean, the first time I heard someone say that uh, tens is their favorite. Yeah, I like tens, fourteens. Uh, I like all of them honestly. I respect them all for like their different joints, like for the different characteristics they got going on, and like. The reason why this one got this and this one got that, like, mm -hmm. I can see the value in all of them, except Team Jordans, honestly. So it's such a team. <laughs> yeah, like, I can't, I can't step out for that. That's all crazy. You know what I want to do? I want to, like, 
get a whole list of just shit that I don't fuck with and, and just see start if I can it. No, and see if I could put a fit together with a list of sh- like shit I can't. You mean? I mean, niggas probably can, but it's just like, like have a party like that. Enjoy yourself with that fit, like I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but it's one of those things where it's just like, could you really put it on when you know what I'm saying the odds are against you type shit? <laughs> the odds are against no, you. No, it's some real shit. Like bro. a movie or something. Yeah, like, yeah, like I'm trying to do something. Like I don't know what it is though. Like bro, a Fast and Furious or something. Yeah, bro. for all the wavy niggas though, <laughs> like a whole bunch of shit that you just don't fuck with, but like see what you come up with. Like you know what I'm saying? It's so like, you really be putting that shit on? Like you can really put something on? Now it's far as like the shit. I know you bring it in. Like, people bring it in stuff to sell to you, mm-hmm. but. I know you part of culture, so like you out there on the streets finding and like inventory yourself. Like, yeah, we, we do a lot of groundwork. It's definitely slowed up through the years just because of like not having the time to be in the shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we yeah. have not even opened. No, that's, that's my brother right here. Oh, all right, right. right. PG-10, you feel me? My bad, you feel me? That's my, my man, right there. You sound like you're Jeremy. Tap that man, you know what I'm saying? It's DJ Teddy out here, man. You know, <laughs> shout out to shout out George Pickers, man. You know, him done Mikey down. Got yeah, the premium leather for the premium weather. You know yes, sir, that's my brother, man. Yeah, but we're going to get back to this, you know what I'm saying? I have to shit, but you know what I'm saying? It's, it slowed down. Oh, uh, yeah, it slowed down just because, like, I don't know, it became more popular, like, going out and finding, like, vintage clothes and reselling them amongst, like, a lot of people. So, like, I don't know, we kind of, like, felt like, you just weren't finding as much as we used to. Yeah. So it's like, I just take a step back. Like we still got like certain places to go and check. We like we like go to flea markets more than like go to thrift. Flea markets, no shit. Yeah, I mean like that's more fun and like it's just more like I don't know like down to the ground like because you're really like doing deals with people like. I might do a deal with like an old seven year old dude that I wouldn't even expect to talk to. Mm-hmm, to get and this up off of him though. Yeah, exactly. To like, get this up off of him. For real, for real. Yeah, yeah. It's just different. Like, you more like in contact with the people. And then thrifts are getting smarter now. Yeah. They might put $80 for a shirt. Bro, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> like, they know the, the resellers is coming to grab a certain shit. That shit crazy. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Senseless really having it, man. He's trying to get down there and tap in with my man Jobin, man. He's, he's for the culture, you know. He got pieces on the rack. He got a lot of uh, exclusive shit that we haven't seen in years. You know, real culture shit, though. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all get down to Senseless. You know what I'm saying? Tap in with Jobin. Like I said, man, only the wave you come up here. You know? So get your shit in order. Maybe you could be next. Be nice. Wavy Wagyu TV, we out of here. Got the way back, never lost it. Close it out in style, yeah. Shit don't stop, though, let's go.